Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, let me see. Today is day number five, fifth or sixth day of uh, restriction movement order in Malaysia. So we all cannot go. Uh, we're not supposed to go out. We're supposed to stay at home. So we get to cook a lot at home. And this is my uh, lunch. I think a few days ago, I cooked some fried rice, then fried noodle, then today, fried kway teow. <laughs> oh, and then I also cooked some fried bihun also the other day. So this is the fried kway teow, just for the change. This is the rice noodle, about 500, um, 500 gram, one packet, um, for three adults, okay? So, I'm not really teaching, in this video, I'm not really teaching you how to make Penang Cha Kway Teow because I don't have all the ingredients. Um, I'm actually trying to use the ingredient that I can find from my fridge, okay? So, we have the uh, noodles, yeah, the, the rice noodles. I have a bit of uh, char siu. Yeah, I have some leftover char siu here. About six or seven pieces of prawn. Uh, I have trimmed the pond, yeah, uh, remove the pointy part and also remove the legs, yeah. Then I have some um, tauge, yeah. Uh, please make sure, bean sprout, please make sure if you want to use uh, bean sprout or tauge, always soak them under water, if not they can uh, get oxidized very fast. So uh, uh, a huge, uh, good, a good uh, handful of tauge to be used here. I have some chopped garlic, two egg, two to three egg, up to you. This is the last size, so two eggs enough. And then uh, before we start cooking, I'm going to show you how to pre-make the sauce, okay? Because we are not um, we are not a professional, so better pre-make the mixed sauce. All right, I'm going to start with some dark soy sauce. About two tablespoon. Chaguita is supposed to be black color, all right. And one cup of saucing wine. Of course, if you don't take alcohol, you can just omit it. You don't have to re, uh, replace with anything. Or you can just replace with some chicken stock, yeah. All right. About one tablespoon of light soya sauce, a little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce is very salty, be careful, just a little bit, yeah. So, I think half a teaspoon. Then I have some white pepper, a pinch of salt. Pinch of sugar. And two, three tablespoon of hot water. All right? So, and uh, mix everything nicely. Uh, I think my hot water is a little bit too much. It's okay. If you think it's not black and dark enough, you can just put more um, dark soya sauce. Make sure everything is nicely uh, melted and dissolved in the broth. I'm going to put a little bit more dark soya sauce for the color. Okay, one more tablespoon. Okay. Right, I'm going to start with some garlic oil. If you don't have garlic oil, you can also use normal vegetable oil. Okay, but garlic oil will enhance the flavor of your dish. I'm going to saute the garlic. You can also add some pork lard if you have. Immediately, I can smell the very nice fragrance from the garlic oil. Mmm, smells very good. 
my uh, tashu. And I want to season the oil with my prawn. Okay, the shell, the shell of the prawn once in contact with hot oil, it will give it will release some very very nice fragrance. This why I'm going to put it in my prawn right now. I always love the shell of the prawn. Mmm. Very seafoody right now. Mmm, nice. Okay, I'm going to push all ingredients to the side. Our egg. Remember just now we have prepared a sauce. Okay, now we can actually season our egg a little bit. Now we can actually put in the rice noodle. Okay, now you can mix everything together. I'm going to scrap the bottom, scrap out the egg. Now my uh, rice noodle is very, very eggy. That's exactly what I want. Uh, take note, when I put in my rice noodle, my egg is just half cooked, yeah? See? Oh, my uh, rice noodle is nicely co uh, covered and coated with uh, eggs. That's exactly what I wanted. Right? Then, of course, the broth just now. If you like spicy, this is the time where you can actually add on your chili paste. My family doesn't eat spicy, so I will add my own chili paste later because I love spicy. And not forgetting where is my tauge. I almost forget about my tauge. Okay, a lot of tauge. I don't have chives. If not, chives will make the color looks much nicer. Mm, I think it can look a bit darker. Actually, in Penang, I prefer the color to be a lot more reddish. I usually ask them to add extra spicy. So extra chili for me. Uh, but of course, in Penang, uh, usually for any uh, street side shop, they will add the, the ready mix chili, chili paste, uh, which is, of course, with some added MSG inside. Yeah? <laughs> All right. It's basically done. Stir frying uh, rice noodle is much more easier than doing bihun because it won't really bake. Right? You don't want to overcook your prawn as well. Everything ready in a couple of minutes. Done. I'm going to dish it out. Okay, so here's my uh, cha kui tiao with the limited resources I have. So uh, it's all about clearing my fridge. Okay, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Remember, there is no rule in Appa's kitchen. Use your creativity. Thank you. Bye-bye.